Hey everybody, this is Jason Jeffries here with the Alliance Project. I have a, some breaking news to share with everybody. I haven't seen it anywhere online yet, so I wanted to share it. Um, I've been telling you guys about this for a long time, and here it is, finally. CERN's webpage at some CERN home uh, ancient particle accelerator discovered on Mars. They made a synthetic Merkaba. I told you about that. Told you about 2.2 million years ago is when they destroyed their planet uh, or the atmosphere on their planet. And um, yeah, some here's so here's some proof to go along with the, <laughs> the older videos we made. New images of the surface of Mars taken by NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter probe have revealed the presence of a largest particle accelerator in the in we've ever found. The search for water and even signs of life on the planet Mars has been ongoing for some time, but with today's announcement by CERN and NASA scientists, the exploration of the red planet has revealed a major new discovery. New images of the surface of Mars taken by Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Probe analyzed by interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary team of experts from the fields of geology, archaeology, and particle physics have revealed the presence of the largest particle accelerator ever built. The team has shown that Olympus Mons, previously thought to be the largest volcanic formulation, formation in the solar system, is in fact the remains of an ancient particle accelerator thought to be operated several, several million years ago. A landslide stretching across several kilometers spotted by the probe's high-resolution camera sparked the scientists' attention. This apparently re recent event revealed a number of structures which intrigued scientists as their shapes clearly resembled those of a superconducting accelerating cavity such as those used in the Large Hadron Collider. With a circumference of almost 2,000 kilometers, this particle accelerator would have been around 75 times bigger than the LHC and millions of times more powerful. However, however, it's not yet known that the types of particles might have been accelerated in such a machine. Here's some hieroglyphs that actually show you um, like a resonance chamber and like uh, basically showing you how they work. Here's, a, here's one of ours and there's theirs. See the resemblance? Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, with the meaning of which was pre previously a mystery, seem to corroborate these observations, leading scientists to believe that the pyramids might have served as a giant antenna for the particle collider. This major discovery could also help explain the Egyptian pyramids, one of the most ancient archaeology's oldest mysteries. Heavily eroded structures resembling pyramids also appear on the images in the immediate vicinity of Umpus Mons. In addition, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs the meaning of which was previously a mystery seemed to corroborate these observations, leading scientists to believe the pyramids might have served as a giant antenna. The pyramids on Earth, therefore, have allowed the accelerator to be controlled remotely. The accelerator control was probably under the pyramids, said Friedrich Spader, CERN's head of technical design. This particle accelerator, a veritable stargate, is thought to have served as a portal in the solar system for highly technologically advanced civilization to the aim of a colonization. The papyrus was recently deciphered indicates that the powerful magnetic field and movement of the particles in the accelerator were such that they would create a portal through space-time, said Fidela Emmerich, the leader of the team of scientists. It's a phenomenon that's completely new to CERN and we can't wait to study it. Such technology could renovate, revolutionize space travel and open the way for intergalactic exploration. Olympus Mons was until now discovered, uh, considered to be the most biggest volcano in the solar system with its recent lava flows is estimated to be about 2 million years old. Scientists believe that dating it is quite accurate on the basis of the latest measurements. This would mean the particle accelerator was last used around 2 million years ago. This powerful synchrotron, synchrotron radiated Radiation emitted by the particle accelerator generated an intense heat, which explains the volcanic structure at the presence of the lava flows. We also have suspected for a long time that the large quantity of water must have existed on the surface of Mars. We can only assume that this water was used to cool the machines. We're probably talking about a forgotten technology of a highly advanced ancient civilization, maybe even our own distant ancestors. So CERN admits that particle accelerators can make portals to other dimensions. CERN admits that we have a progenitor race that not only 6,000 years is like about how far back they like to admit Egypt goes. So now they're admitting Egypt and the pyramids are probably also 2 million years old. And there you go. Everything about this just completely blew my fucking mind and completely cooperated with everything I told you in the past. I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for more updates.